an example explaining the restart point generation patterns of a specific recurrence rate and the equally spaced points is given in the table below. The table shows three load steps. The three load steps require different number of sub-steps to reach the full load application. Two cases are considered for each load step. In the first case, a specified recurrence rate of 2 has been specified. In the second case, three equally spaced points are specified. In the first case, the restart points are written after every alternate substep. In simple words, a restart point is written at every second substep as the recurrence rate is 2. For the first load step, a restart point is written at the second and the fourth, that is the last substep. For the second load step, a restart point is written for the second, fourth, and the fifth substep. Note that although substep number 5 does not coincide with the recurrence rate of 2, a restart point is still written. This is because it is the last substep in the load step 2. No matter what recurrence rate is, a restart point will always be written at the end of the load step. In the second case, restart points are requested at the three equally spaced points. For the first load step, the restart points are written at the substep 2, 3, and 4. That is, 50% load, 75% load, and 100% load. These points are equally separated by the 25% of the load. While solving, the second load step, a restart point is written at substep 2. This corresponds to 40% of the load. Similarly, a restart point is written at substep 4. This corresponds to 80% of the load. The last restart point is written at substep 5. This corresponds to 100% of the load. Note that the restart point 1 and 2 are separated by the equal spacing of 40% of the load. Although spacing between the third restart point and the second restart point is only 20% of the load, restart point is written for the substep 5. This is because it is the last substep of the load step 2. Thus, regardless of the spacing, a restart point will always be written at the last substep of the load step.